Besides, you make the queens, queens, you heard me. And we go a little something like this. Your prodigy of Kevin Lowes. How Big long, homie. Yeah, how long you been in the business? Since 88. Wow. I started carrying bags for Albie Shaw. Woo. On the Heartbreak Tour. I was, um, I was 16, oh, oh, I think. Oh, girl. All right, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Listen, it, it, no question. I, I, yeah, Albie was the man. No, no, no listen, no Al, everybody that thinks they know how to do it, he did it. He laid the blueprint okay. on how to do it. Wow. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it was... It was we was kids. I grew up in Mount Vernon. You okay. Know what I mean? So Hev was was the big brother. Al was the big brother. So when they got on, yeah. you know how it is. It's like you see people in your community doing something. Yeah. It's like I can do it too. The okay. label is Couture Music. Um, okay. It's with myself and JoJo Brim. Um, okay. Manager, uh, aka you know, um, a lot of you know he's a very big executive. If nobody knows who he is in the room, um, <laughs> yeah, that's usually how it is. He's also Trey Song's <laughs> manager as well. So okay, okay. wow. We need him on the couch too. Yeah, nah, that's why he's here. How did you two link up? Um, I know JoJo for a very long time, oh, a little over 10 years now. Um, I was kind of like a young, um, you know, uh, artist and writer coming into the game. Like, I was in high school, and, um, you know, I used to be like, I'm a writer. JoJo and I, like, he was um, managing Case at the time. This was before he was at Def Jam. And uh, a friend of mine um, used to dance for Case. And that's how, you know, we kind of got a um, connection. And he kind of, like, took me under his wing like his little sister. And then about... Four or five years ago, I ran into him in the studio, and I was writing a song for an artist that he had on Warner Brothers, and I didn't know that that was his artist. So, um, you know, he was like, what else you got going on? I said, I'm a, you know, I got a, a couple of songs that I've been working on. It's like rock, a little bit of hip-hop in it. And he was like, wow, well, I'd like to hear it. I played it for him. And he was like, yo, this is you? And I was like, yeah. And he was mm -hmm. like, well, can you perform these songs live? And I was like, yeah. So I just performed it in his office by myself, and he was like, wow. And he, you know, kind of like called his partner up and kind of signed me no, on the I've spot. She was writing. That's she was actually writing it, before that. Okay. It, you know what it was? It was like I, I used to, when I was at, at Def Jam, I, um, she used to come around because she was doing a lot of stuff with Irv Gotti. And me and Irv used okay. to share an office about the size of that bar. <laughs> <laughs> we really did. And it was like, like Lior and Kevin hired us at the same time. So what we did was we brought our people around us yeah. that wrote and, you know, and she was styling people and work. But she would always come around the office like, oh, I'm this, I'm that. I was like, get out of here. You're like <laughs> six years old. But she was like yeah. managing the, the artist. Or I was like, yo, you're like 11. And they're like, well, how, how does that work? You know, and she would just always Boss. be around. Right. Boss. Boss. And she was. And so. You know, so she was writing those records and working with LL and just doing certain things. And, you know, we just always stayed connected, you know. So it was when I when when we migrated over to Warner Brothers, when Kevin took over as EVP, I went over there and um, I just started really looking for people that I thought wanted to go to the next level. And she she was one of those people. You actually wrote for Teddy Riley. I learned a lot from him, like writing styles, like how to produce a record, yeah. how to really, like he showed me how to hone the studio, like to be in, you know, and recording. I, I was fresh, new out the box, you know? What was your so, um, biggest record that you that you wrote? Probably the Deborah Cox record on the um, Tyler Perry soundtrack. Okay. Oh, I like that so, um, It's a good movie. Yeah, Meet the Browns, so that's, you know. I've been a part of a lot of other records. I wrote a Slim record on the last Slim's album. Um, okay. Uh, Shout out to Slim. Yeah, so, and, um, and I did the, a music music Soul Child and a Stell record on Tyler Perry as well, so I was actually featured on the song as wow. well. Wow. So, um, it's, uh, you know, I'm coming up, it's a small <laughs> thing. Now you're writing for yourself, and that right. record is hot right now. How did you collaborate with Elephant Man with this record? The actual producer who worked on um, I'm So Special and um, No Games with Sarani, like, yes. came, I have a studio yeah. at home, TJ. and TJ, you know, TJ is his name, and he came, he's like, yo, I want a female record that has, like, a dance-off pop feel. Yeah. So I started to write the record, and they were like, um, you know, I thought it was for somebody else. So I was just writing it. I came up with a hot melody, and they were like, yo, this record is crazy. We want to keep you on it. And I was like, the record's for me? So I was like, wait, wait, wait. I got to change the lyrics because I wouldn't say that like that. Yeah. You know, so I started to work on it. I, you know, f you know, flipped up a couple of things, and then they were like, the perfect person would be Elephant Man to match my energy. So, because as far as performance, I dance, and it's a lot of, en like, stage presence. Yeah. They figured that, you know, they call it um, Elephant Man the energy god. When Elephant Man heard the record, he liked it, he jumped on it, and he made it, the, you know, I'm appreciative of him to, to this day, you know? So you're, you're working with Trey Songs right now? Yeah, um, 
you know, KWL, when, when Kevin left um, Warner Music Group, he, um, he started a, 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 I like to call it just a straight entertainment company. Okay. It's called KWL, um, and at the end of the day, Kev's the boss. Um, but, you know, I'm humbled that he brought me in. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm, I've been with Kev forever. I never worked for nobody else. Kevin yeah. don't know, move without JoJo. I, I, well, Everybody knows <laughs> that. I'm, I'm humbled to be, to be a part of that. And, um, you know, right now, as you know, we took over Trey's career over the last probably six months. Um, Trey's opened me with open arms. He's been, he's been, you know, he, he wants it. He reminds me of us when we was okay, yeah. young, trying to, to get it. You know, he's hungry like that. And, um, you know, Kev gave me the honor of being able to, to be in it with Trey day to day. Yeah. You know I mean, I, every, every, every great artist and every great executive got to have an anchor. Yeah, definitely. You know what I mean? So I, I, I want to be that anchor for her. Yeah. You know, Kev was an anchor for me. Then he was an anchor for Leor and Leor for A lot Russell. of money, man. You know what I mean? So you money. got, it's a lot yeah. of money. It's a lot, <laughs> it's a lot of money. Yeah, But, know. you know, we're, we're, work, we're truly, though. we're humbled by yeah. the Absolutely. opportunity to be able to even create this kind of web yeah. that, you know, is not only making great music, but pushing the culture forward. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because Kev is all about pushing the culture forward. Tali okay. is all about pushing, pushing the, the culture, culture forward. forward. Trey, we, we want to push the culture forward. It's, it's one thing to have a record that's hot, and yeah. it's one thing to have an artist that makes a difference. What do you got up next? I know the single sizzling. Um, we're looking for the album. But before the album drops, I just want to kind of feed the public you know, yeah. more music, and I want to create a demand for it. So when they ask for it, then I'm going to give it to them. But um, could you give your, you, do you have a Twitter? At Real Talia Coles. Okay. So that's R E A L T A L I A C O L E S. Okay, Jojo, do you have a Twitter? Yeah, it's yeah, because you know all these unsigned artists is gonna hit you like crazy. Mm -hmm. It's 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 um at don't twit me <laughs> <laughs> if you want a deal. Yeah, I just want to give a shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for having Thank me. You, man. Thank you, and I look you, forward definitely. to coming back. You know, with Phase more stuff one, and. You know, and like shout out to my label, Phase One. So shout out to Frank. I see. I see. He's a, he's a genius with that marketing. He's a, no, no question.